A nuclear bomb is the most dangerous weapon we have on Earth. And thousands of them are spread across the world. Just one of these bombs has the power to wipe out an entire city. So what would happen if all of them launched at once? And instead of their targets being here on Earth, they were headed for space. Why would this be a good thing? How dangerous would these nukes be? And how far away would they need to travel to keep us safe? This is What If, and here's what would happen if all nukes exploded in space. Okay, before we send all these bombs out into orbit, let's take a closer look at what we're dealing with. First of all, we're not talking about one or two or even 100 nukes. Latest estimates put the total number of weapons of mass destruction scattered around the globe at approximately 12,705. And it should come as no surprise that they aren't evenly distributed among world powers. Of course, the US and Russia are in the lead by no small number. Between these two historic rivals, they have over 11,000 nuclear warheads. The remaining nuke-possessing countries like China, France, Pakistan, and India have no more than a measly couple hundred. But even some of these smaller nuclear devices could annihilate whole cities, wipe out thousands if not millions of people, and bring our entire planet to the brink of destruction. So it's finally time to band together and finally get these bombs off of Earth, if we can. We live in an age where sending rockets into space feels like it happens almost every day. But shepherding thousands of nukes off of Earth is a bit more of a dangerous payload than SpaceX is used to handling. This effort would require a plan of action unlike anything before. Let's start with security. Sure, a scenario aiming to remove nuclear weapons and promote world peace is nice to imagine, but let's be real. Handing over nuclear weapons for disposal would be no simple task. Besides, who would be the trustworthy candidates to carry out the job? Nuclear weapons programs have extremely strict security protocols. No one individual has the ability to arm or launch weapons alone. And with peace on the horizon, now would be no time to change that. Clearly, a trusted international organization with a commitment to transparency would need to be created just for this project. It would be staffed by world governments, scientists, and the brightest minds Earth has to offer. Security would need to be as tight as ever, though, because there could be criminal organizations interested in taking advantage of this situation to gain a unique amount of power in a future without nukes, or at least without thousands of them. But let's skip ahead to the more out-of-this-world aspects of this scenario. Launching thousands of nukes would require new rockets to be built specifically for handling radioactive cargo. In the case of a leak or damage, they would need to be guaranteed without a doubt that they would exit our atmosphere safely. These rockets would need all the same durability and heat-resistant technology as space shuttles. Plus, they'd need to be more powerful and be able to carry more cargo than ever before. Nukes can weigh thousands of kilograms, and our current rockets aren't carrying those kinds of cargo loads, so we'd need to compensate for that. Each weapon would need to be individually housed in a shock-resistant containment vessel, and these would need to be able to withstand various disaster scenarios in case the launch fails. One of the most dangerous aspects of this whole mission would be that these warheads would need to be detonation ready before they leave the ground. If just one nuke or rocket malfunctions, it's game over for Earth. To be extra safe, the neutral organization overseeing this launch would need to build a brand new launch site specifically for this mission. And it would make sense that this site would be far, far away from highly populated regions of the world. Yeah, to avoid worst case scenarios. So, once we start launching these nukes, where would they go? Well, keep in mind that the International Space Station is orbiting Earth at over 400 kilometers above sea level, so we'd need to make sure that the rockets would speed well beyond this point. 
The last thing we'd want to do is to send any astronauts stationed there to the most explosive death possible. Now, if we did detonate the nukes too close to Earth, a whole mess of things could happen. Now, down on the ground, you'd be fine. Since space has no atmosphere, the explosion wouldn't produce the typical blast wave or mushroom-shaped cloud that we're used to seeing. You'd still see an explosion, but it wouldn't be nearly as violent. And the radiation would be too far away for it to harm Earth. But that doesn't mean nothing bad would happen. If the nukes were to detonate in our satellite orbit, we'd notice that right away. The explosions would create all kinds of space debris that would disrupt and destroy satellites. This would threaten our communications, information, and navigation systems around the world. Not to mention, the nukes could create an electromagnetic pulse over various countries, knocking out our power grids and cell phone towers. Despite this being an attempt at world peace, it could push the world into chaos. Now, what if we tried detonating the nukes a little further from Earth? The safest bet would be to set the detonation zone at or beyond the moon's orbit, about 384,000 kilometers away. As long as we don't hit our biggest satellite, this would be the best way to minimize the effects of this explosion back on Earth. Okay, finally, it's time for the new Big Bang. Staring out at the night sky, you'd first be treated to a sequence of brilliant flashes, almost like distant stars spontaneously combusting all at once. But you wouldn't see all 12,000 explosions at the same time. We'd time it to be a long series of blasts spread out over weeks or months to ensure the safest, most controlled conditions. From Earth, the view would be mesmerizing. People all over the world would gather together to celebrate and watch the distant radioactive fireworks. And the flash of the explosions wouldn't be the only visual phenomenon you'd be treated to. All that energy released in these nuclear blasts would create new auroras to decorate our night sky all over the planet. These auroras would be useful to scientists who could analyze an abundance of data on the interaction between radiation and the Earth's magnetic field. If all goes well and the last explosion goes off without a hitch, it'd be time to celebrate a new era in modern human history. Ever since the first atomic bomb was created in 1945, we've lived on a planet loaded with weapons, capable of destroying all life on Earth. Not anymore. But that doesn't mean the consequences of this master plan wouldn't be potentially dangerous in the long run. All this new debris and radiation traveling further out into space could create disturbances well beyond our planet that we wouldn't even have conceived of. Maybe some future interplanetary astronauts will encounter dangerous clouds of radiation that will threaten their lives and the success of their mission. So, although disposing of our nuclear weapons in space could potentially benefit Earth, we'd have to be aware of the downsides that could unfold. Maybe it would be best if these nukes were detonated in a specific spot out in space. One far away from Earth. I wonder what would happen if we sent these nukes to detonate on Mars. Some have suggested that might make the planet more habitable. But. That sounds like a story for another What If.